What's good people, it's Ocean here and welcome to my home studio. What's good, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Hope it's good wherever you're watching from. Today, I am gonna be doing a full tour of my new setup, my new studio. As some of you may know, I just moved into a new apartment. And to be honest, it's still completely a mess. I'm still unpacking boxes and figuring stuff out. But this room right here, it's more or less complete. Turn it into like a little music studio. And I'm gonna be showing you around the place. I did a video like this, I think, like six months or so ago in the last place that I had and honestly i love that setup that setup was sick but i've leveled up a little bit some things are still the same but i've got a lot of upgrades and stuff so i guess it's like time to show you the newer version the updated version before we get into it though go follow me on twitter at prod by ocean because i am active there and on instagram too at prod by ocean because i'm always doing like announcements and stuff i don't want you to miss out let's get into this tour let me show you around all right, so let's start this from like the complete beginning. As soon as we come in, this is what we see in the room. The first thing you probably notice is these huge acoustic panels that I've put up on the wall. Because I live in a residential area, I wanted to have some sort of acoustic treatment. So when I'm playing music loud, it will absorb some of the sound. Before, when there was no acoustic panel, if you talked in this room, there'd be loads and loads of echoes. But now it's a lot more, it's a lot flatter. And so when I'm making beats and I'm mixing, it's gonna make the sound a bit more accurate and I can get a better mix. When I was looking at buying each acoustic panel online, they were really, really expensive. So instead I literally built these with my bare hands. And trust me, when I tell you, I'm not a handyman whatsoever, but I found a really, really useful YouTube tutorial. So I basically just followed that, got all the material from B&Q, chopped up the wood, put in the panel, put in the fabric, all that good stuff. If you're interested in making acoustic panels, then I'll probably leave a link in the description so you can go check out that tutorial. But yeah, I built these six acoustic panels. Literally, it cost me a fraction of what it would have cost me if I was to buy the acoustic panels online. And then of course, as I always say, no studio is complete without the LED lights. I've got LED lights, some random ones off Amazon, just going around the room to give it a vibe. So we start in this corner and make our way around the room. Here we've got just a random instrument that I picked up in a market in Bali. I think it's called a Gamelan. I bought this so I could make a beat with it, but I haven't made a beat with it yet. And then we've got just a recorder that I got off Amazon as well. And then I've left this space right here. So when the 100K plaque comes in, it's gonna sit nicely right there. We've got some cabinets, just some cabinets from Ikea inside. Just gives me extra storage for the room. This is all like camera bags and tripod bags and stuff. And then in this one, we have got just different camera equipment. So we got an extra tripod, the Gorilla Pod. This camera right here is a DJI Osmo. It's kind of similar to the GoPro. And also I got the first camera that I ever used. This was the G7X. I used to do all my YouTube videos with this. It's really good for vlogging and that. You can just flip it out and start recording. To be honest, I haven't used this or even switched this on since the last YouTube video I did with this, which was probably like 2018. And then yeah, just a bunch of other camera stuff, some lenses and that. And then after that, we have got a recording microphone. This is the Rode NT1A. It's really good for recording vocals, it's like a, a good entry level microphone. And it comes with the shock mount and the pop filter. And then I got that standing on just a random microphone stand that's really sturdy. To be honest, I don't even use this mic too much just because I don't record a lot of vocals, but it's still a very solid mic when I, whenever I have used it. On this side, we have got a sofa bed from Ikea. This flips out into a full-size mattress. So if I had someone coming over, they can use this as a spare room. Or to be honest, sometimes when I need to take a break from making beats, I just have a quick nap, then I can go straight back to work. And then on this side of the room, we have got the whiteboard. This is something that I had in my last video. I use this whiteboard to like write down my goals and organize my life a bit. So as you can see here, I've got my yearly goals. I'll tell you what they are, 300K subscribers, one placement, 
a plaque, launch my merch and launch a podcast. And I'll also break that down into monthly goals. I still need to write it out for February. Weekly goals, all the, all the weekly stuff that I have to get done. The things that I have to get done in a day. And then my dailies that never change. So right now, it's doing some sort of exercise like yoga or gym, playing the piano for an hour a day, and doing a TikTok video. And then onto this side, we have got a guitar. This is a Squire or a Squire, I don't know how to pronounce it. A Squire Telecaster Bullet. I just, just got this because I really want to learn how to play the guitar properly and also make some cool guitar samples. As you can see though, it's still got like all the tags on it. I haven't picked it up and played it yet. I literally just got this, but we will be using this really soon. Over here, we've got the digital piano. This is a Yamaha P45. This was in my last video as well. I used this to get better at playing the keys and just practice playing the piano. I don't really use it too much as a MIDI board. Even though you can, you can plug it into the laptop. I have a separate MIDI board over there, but this is just mainly for me to just practice playing the piano. It's got the hammer weighted keys, which is perfect. I love this digital piano. Like I play this all the time. Here is the cable management. It's not really management. This is just, this is like the power source of the room. Everything is plugged in here. I don't know how safe that is. It's not very well hidden. Apart from that, it's in the corner, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. And then, we move on to the most important section of the room, which is the desk setup. This desk right here, I was actually inspired by Kyle Beats, so shout out Kyle to do something like this. Basically, it's not really a typical desk that comes in a package. You have to get the drawers separate. So these are two Alexa drawers from Ikea. You build those separately and then you put the countertop on top of it. And I really like this setup because it gives you a lot, a lot of space. So let's see what we've got in here. In here, just the Akai MPK Mini. I mainly use this for traveling now because it's like really light. You throw it in your bag and you're good to go. I don't use it too much, it's just really for traveling. We got a random microphone in the corner there. This came with like a microphone stand that I bought ages ago. I never use it. Onto this side, the reason why I really love these drawers as well is because like, it gives you so much storage. We got just a lot of random stuff from YouTube and a light. In here, this is the Focusrite 2i2 good audio interface there and then a lot of memory stuff like hard drives and that then in here we've got the headphone drawer this is the Sennheiser HD Pro 280s I think I've had these headphones for about five years I stepped on the headphone jack by accident so I spent but I just replaced these and I got another pair of these another pair of Sennheiser HD Pros they're really really good for mixing they're solid I really like these and then some Beats headphones that I never use down here, this has all my leads, all my cables for headphones, USBs, chargers, all that stuff. And then this one, I think, is just completely empty. Then onto the desk now, we have the powerhouse. This powers everything I have. This is a MacBook Pro. It's an early, early 2015 MacBook Pro. I've had this for about five years now. It's still going, it's a solid laptop. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite slow now, but I use it very, very heavily. I use it for music production, for video editing, basically everything I do, I use this. So I might need to upgrade it soon. And I use it in the closed clamshell mode, which means that I can connect it to a monitor like this. This is just a Philips monitor is curved so apparently it's meant to give you like a more immersed experience the way how to get it set up like that is that you'll close your laptop plug in the power adapter it has to be plugged in even if it's fully charged and then connect it with a hdmi cable and you also have to use a keyboard and a mouse i've got this apple keyboard right here and then a lot of people are always asking me am i like doing this to control everything no i'm actually using an Apple trackpad. It might look like that on camera just because I got like the blur settings quite high. I'm so used to using a trackpad. I'm so used to cooking up beats straight from the laptop, just moving things like this. So the Apple trackpad is perfect for me. I can just move everything like that. You might have noticed as well, I've got some new studio monitors set up. These are Adam Audio A7Xs. These studio monitors are meant to be like one of the best out there. I'm super grateful that Adams Audio sent me a pair of these. They sent me them like a month ago and I've just kept them in a the box waiting for the moment that I can unbox it properly and set it up in my new studio. Today, that day has finally come. I just set these up this morning. I haven't had time to make a beat with them yet and hear the quality. So we're gonna test that later on in the video. But yeah, these are meant to be like one of the best. They're really, really pricey, way more pricier than my Yamaha HS7s, but the quality is meant to be like, like top notch, so we're gonna check that out. The audio interface I'm using is an Apollo Twin. 
This is an absolute beast. I used to use the Scarlet 2i2 that I showed you before, but this, you can definitely hear the difference. What I like about this as well is that if you use any plugins from Universal Audio, it will run off of the audio interface itself instead of off your laptop or your computer. So it will save some CPU and make your computer less slow. Then the MIDI keyboard that I'm using is a S49 by Native Instruments, very solid. What I like about it as well is that you have these two screens where you can pull up your plugins here and control them. Sometimes I do it that way, but it just feels nice on the fingers. So yeah, that is the full studio tour. That is more or less everything in the studio right now. I'd say it's about 90% complete. There's still some minor touches that I wanna to add to it. Like I wanna put some acoustic panels just above me on the ceiling and maybe some bass traps in the corners just to make it, just to give better acoustics for the mixing. I'm gonna be doing that throughout the year, just like slight little add-ons and that. I didn't wanna to wait to do a video when everything's completely finished because I don't know when that will be. The reason why I really wanted to do this video though is just to show you like the updated setup. I guess you could say this is like a new era or a new chapter going forward. So I wanted to show you what's up, what we're gonna be working with. But also just to give you like an idea or inspiration as to what you could do with your setup if you're thinking about like making a home studio. As I said before though, we got some new studio monitors and I really wanna test them out and hear how they sound. One quick thing I gotta say that I really like about these speakers already is this. They got the control knobs at the front so you can just bang, turn on, turn the dial right here. All the other speakers I ever used, you have to like grab over and like figure out at the background here trying to find the switch but here just a nice little detail makes life a lot easier i'm not even going to quantize that i'm just going to control everything and press r command r to repeat that over and then i might even just add in some bass notes extra keys for now and add in something else one thing i definitely noticed straight away is that everything just sounds a lot more flat which is a good thing though because it's going to give me like a more accurate sound coming from my computer and that means like i really got to adjust knobs and fix everything <laughs> Just gonna turn that down as well. Maybe pan it to the left. so far let's drag that in and then move everything up an octave but I'm thinking because I'm a, I'm a bit lazy today I'm just gonna drag in a hi-hat pattern from one of my kits I'll go with this one. Boom. Boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom.
Alright, I like that. Let's control everything. Maybe down a few octaves. I think I might just extend these notes a bit. And then if I put this over 8 bars, I might just switch up the pattern a bit. Boom, boom, boom. So right, let's change that, let's drag this over here. Because I want that pattern. Boom, boom, boom. together now I think I might even just leave the beat like that maybe just an open hat but nice and bouncy with the 808s but yeah that's about it for that beat that's the first time me making a beat with these new studio monitors and they're sounding really really crisp they sound really true to sound which is definitely going to help me make my mixes a lot better so when I do play on other devices and stuff like that, it's gonna go from like being average to sounding really, really professional. That is it for my studio tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button right now because it really, really helps the video. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you for watching. That's about it for this one. I'll see you in the future.